It is always nice to get a chance to admire nature while I'm hunting. After a nice Thanksgiving dinner with the family, popped up to my place to see about doing a little hog hunting. Saw some fresh hog sign, a nice mud rub on a tree on the way to the stand. And then sat back and ended up watching nature all evening because the hogs never showed up. Carpe vulnerate cerve. I really haven't seen too many larger bucks this year. The one at the opening and this one that has just walked out are probably two of the largest that I've seen on my place. And this one has a limp. There's no telling what caused his injury. But it's definitely pronounced. Now he appears to be an asymmetrical eight point and maybe just barely legal. He comes in and the does scatter. Apparently they've seen him before. However, the main reason I'm putting together this video is because of this doe right here. That appears to have already been shot this season and it's actually doing quite well all things considered. This would appear to be the exit wound on her right shoulder and trailing off from that is a cool line. Looks like the wound may be draining at this point following the edge of the muscles on the shoulder. Her movement does not appear to be impaired. She seems to be eating just fine. Now you may notice these other dark areas. These are not wounds. These are rubs from the elbow and the knee. And they are distinctly different than the mark that she has on her shoulder. Now I think that's the exit wound and I think that because there's a corresponding wound on the other side that you can just start to make out. And let me stop the image right here. And it looks like the projectile would have gone through in this manner. And as she turns right here, you can get a better look at what appears to be the entry wound. There it is. And given the location of the entry and the exit wounds, it would appear that the shot entered high on the left shoulder, exited a little lower down on the right hand side, having passed over the vertebral column, possibly doing some muscle damage and some damage to the spinous processes of the vertebrae there, but otherwise missing the vital organs. And as you can see on the left side, there isn't any drainage from the entry wound. So all in all, unless this deer gets an infection, this errant shot on the deer does not appear to have been life-threatening doesn't appear to be crippling, and this animal should go on to live a productive life until it encounters a better hunter.